Hi everyone. So a little bit of house cleaning is called. I don't know. Can you kind of catch up on things? Hold on a minute. Okay. Okay. That cord came out of my phone and I like to keep it plugged in when I'm vlogging because you never know if it shuts off because that's the way the phone is. This phone belonged to someone named Edward. I think I said George. And I actually noticed, um, I got a text message to this guy, Edward, and he apparently goes the same eye doctor as me. So I was getting messages about his car was ready and, um, what else? Just, uh, messages like, was I in Buffalo? Was I here, there, and other things? So obviously this phone that was, um, at the end, Polly's father ended up getting because the other way didn't work out. He got me a used phone, which is nothing but trouble. It's been nothing but trouble, but I have a phone. So anyhow, there was that, which made me think of something else. This is going to be just a mishmash of stuff. Oh, yeah. When I, <coughs> when I had my landline, 10 years into having it, I would always get a call for this woman named Audrey. Oh, I forgot her last name now. But, I mean, all times of the day, you would almost think she was a lady of the evening or something. Just weird calls and... Seemed like she owed people money. And then one day there was a message that said, um, just a reminder, your uh, hair appointment is for blah, blah, blah. And they left the phone number. So I called that place and I explained to them for the last year, I've been getting calls for this person nonstop telling them I must have got her number. And they just kept calling, wouldn't stop. And... Oh, this is longer than 10 years ago because I had a baby, a couple of babies, maybe 20 years ago. But anyhow, so they gave me the number they had for her. I called her and I said, um, apparently I got your old phone number. I said, I don't know what, what, you know, anything about you, but I just wanted you to know people are calling me night and day. I said, um, if you want to know, I wrote down a couple of the places they just wouldn't let me off the phone. That's when I was, you know, kind of dumb and wouldn't stand up for myself. And she didn't want to hear it. She was so mean and rude. And I said, well, you better fix your problem and tell your people to stop calling you. Um, so um, <laughs> she was so rude, let me tell you. But uh, I just kind of put her on notice that she, she needs to take care of her financial issues because... They are not my problem. So anyhow, that kind of led me to that thought. So the next thought was, um, oh yeah, about uh, if you watched my uh, video about who was interested in doing a series on, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Or not. Oh, one day I sneezed once and it was one of those sneezes that hurt. And then about 10, 12 times, I go to ah, and the chew part didn't come out. I couldn't sneeze. Oh, my God, I got such a bad headache. But this is what it feels like. It gets itchy. And it feels like I'm going to sneeze, but I couldn't. I don't know. I feel like I sound stuffy. But anyhow, then, and I forgot the next subject. Oh, yeah, I put up a video about doing a series on getting older and what you thought about when you were younger, you know, when we were younger. Well, I don't know if you did, but most people thought, oh my God, 30 is old. Oh, 30 is not old. If you wanted a series on that, and I wanted people's opinions because I put my heart and soul into the work I do. And as you know, I do it for free. I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't get paid. So um, I did get one response, which actually was similar to what some, some of the things that I was going to write. But um I would like to get more people's opinion. I am going to still do it. I may just do one vlog about it if I don't see people interested. Um, and the person who did who did respond said that, um, you know, maybe people will learn from it. You know, or something in there they could take away from it or something like that. Um, I'll wait a few days to see if other people are interested. I just don't want to put a whole week's worth of stuff into there if people aren't interested. I am going to, I have some other ideas, so I'm just going to, you know, I'm a people pleaser, so I'm not going to put out there and ask if you'd be interested. I'm just going to put out there. If you're not interested, you're not interested. I may have a few controversial kind of things on there. Nothing political, nothing religious. But, um, you know, if you don't like it, don't watch it. But I just wanted to kind of branch out, you know, and I'm just here all the time. 
So I want to do something interesting. And the last thing that I want to talk about, I had a phone doctor's appointment today. Oh my gosh. It said sneeze. It feels like it's got to come out and it won't. But anyhow, um, so I, I was telling him about, you know, that I, how I got sick with a real bad sore throat, worse than strep, the headache, like, oh my gosh, it was so bad. The nose thing, the coughing thing, and the chills nonstop. And I said that Polly's dad tested positive, but he got the PS something test, the, you know, the one you go to urgent care and get it. He promised to take me along, but he didn't. So I only was able to do the home test. I don't remember if I did it on day five, six, or seven. There are false negatives and false positives on those tests. Um, but the thing is, I had no no smell. I couldn't smell or taste. I still can't smell, but that may be this new thing that's going on in my sinus. So I might even have the sinus going on then. So I'm, I'm not that concerned about the smelling. Well, I guess I should be. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's here or there. But the tasting thing and how I could tell is because before this happened, I had the sticky lips and kind of salty taste. So I, I'm a little bit getting the st sticky lips back. But the sticky lips don't have a taste. The other day I thought I was getting a little bit of taste back. I was eating those Gerber puffs. I could taste very little. So because of the taste thing, he's thinking um, I probably had it. And with Polly's father being around... And that day that my daughter was here that he let her in and we don't let her in here because she goes all over and her friend always gets the, you know what, and she could have spread it here and so on and so forth. And, you know, it's my house and my rules should be followed. So anyhow, he said he can do a, I think it's an ant, antibody, antigen, I don't know. It's a blood test to see if I, I had it or not. So um, he said in a couple months. You know, when things calm down, he could send me for it to see. So I would like to do that to know if I did have it or not. So anyhow, that's that. Still staying in. Um, so that's about it. So that's kind of mishmash of everything. So for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share, sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay for it and all that good stuff. Be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. Be kind to yourself. Most importantly, stay safe. Bye for now.